So <clears throat> I'm going to talk about a little bit more how I analyze these skills and how I work with our players to, to have the ability to extend possessions. So we're going to focus on extending possessions. Um, first of all, you need body awareness. You've got to be able to read where that pressure is come, coming from, and you've got to be able to protect pucks. You need to puck handle outside of your body. So often when I work with young kids, and I was at a Hockey Canada seminar this, this uh, last week, and we were doing puck protection drills, and guys were coming up the wall, and they all had the puck right in front of their feet. You've got to load those legs, have that puck. You've got to be able to puck handle outside your body on your forehand and your backhand side. That's a huge skill to have when you're talking about creating offense from below the dots. You've got to be comfortable playing with a player on your hip. If I'm on the wall side, if I'm coming up the, the right side, if I have a defender on my hip, I don't want to panic. I don't want to throw that puck away. I don't want to make a hope play. I want to manipulate him, take him where, where he doesn't want to be. I want to try and get the middle, like we heard earlier in, in Jamie's presentation. We want to get to the dots, and that's so important. So to do that, you have to be able to stick handle with pucks outside of your feet, outside of your body. Edges. Edges are huge. I work with edges every day with, with the players I work with. Um, I don't just go up and down the ice around pylons. We do game-specific edge work, and we'll show you some examples in, in games here. Uh, we work on spins, changes of speed, deception. You want to look off players. You want to look like you're, you're cutting through the seam. Create, manipulate defenders. Okay, that's, that's what we're trying to do. Um, so this is how I break it down. And this is a, a lot of video work. I spent a lot of time in front of the video. But, and this is something I've been doing a lot with Bo Horvat and, and uh, Sven Barchi. And working, I've, I've worked with, being from Winnipeg, I've worked with John and Tave since he was about 14. And this is something that he really focuses on a lot. So we're going to show some clips of, of some things that, that he does really well as well and some things that he, does, that he struggles with. But this is where it all starts for me. Um, so I have, you acquire pucks. First of all, where are they getting pucks? Are they getting it from, are they creating any turnovers? Are they getting passes in the offensive zone? Um, or are they winning puck battles? Okay, so that's where we start. From there, my number one thing is you have to, you have to get body position. So when I work with a guy like, I'll talk about Sven Barchi a little bit. That's where Sven was when he first came to us on the progression. He struggled with that body position. You know, he would get knocked off pucks. He's a little bit slighter player, and he's working hard in the gym, and, and he's quite a bit heavier and stronger now than when we first got him. But his edges, we had to work on his edges. We had to work on his awareness of where that pressure's coming from. So spins and turns. Um, so within that, within your body position, it's protecting the puck, your edges, your pivots, your stance. Again, I, I love getting players in that wide stance wide stance and you lose little seat cuts with your heel toe, heel toe, so your feet are still moving, you're maintaining your speed and then you can have speed out of it. So with Sven, that's where we worked. So I would watch, you know, I'd do like a five game, ten game analysis and, and I would look at all the time he possesses the puck below the dots. I was like, okay Sven, you got, you had <clears throat> possession of the puck or you had the puck in your stick 15 times. You only had five successful possessions, okay? So where are we breaking down? And you'd show him through video. It's, it was always around the body position. He wasn't, he wasn't establishing body position. So now he has a clear picture of what we're going on the ice to work on. So you show him, I'd show him where he is on the progression. I'd explain this to him. He understands. I'd show him the numbers. And now we're going to go work on it. So he's bought in. He's, he knows what he's working on and we, we work on the uh, specific skills. Bo Horvat, he's a little bit more, he's a bigger guy, he's really good at his edges, he's probably a little bit more between the extend possession and manip manipulating defenders, which, which we'll show you some clips of. Um, so I'm going to start here, just some clips of Jonathan. Um, one thing we talk about, and again, a lot of people ask me, well how do you see, like how do you analyze some of the best players in the world, or how do you, how do you find them? Well, we watch a lot of video, but they all make mistakes too. Um, so right away, the puck's coming to him along the wall. He sees Stetch coming, coming to cut him off. And right away, you can see he's starting to pivot into a 10 and 2. So right now, he's got Stetch behind him. He has, he created space on the wall. So now he can go either way. Stetch is not in a great position there. Um, he's kind of cut off at the net. So what, what happens here is Jonathan, and this is something we've worked with and, and showed him for a while over the years, 
He's a powerful guy. He wants to overpower you. But what does he do, does here? He skates it right into pressure. The play ends. Puck's dead. That's a negative possession. So then we'll look around. Okay, well, here's what is an example of a, an option what another player could do. Here's Zuccarello. Similar situation. Puck's coming along the wall. Boom. It's a quick pivot. So like we heard earlier, if he's moving this way and the puck's going that way, it gets that defender to turn his toes, and now he makes a quick turn. So again, moving before you get the puck is a real important skill. And we do that a lot. This is a simple drill. So a lot of my drills I'll get from clips. And this is a simple drill to set up. You have that forward coming toward you. Quick spin. He makes a great pass. Scoring chance at a home plate. Okay? So that's one way we'll break it down. This one. So here, he's got body position. I think this is Stetch again here. So uh, he gets that puck in that wide stance. The puck's almost outside his feet. He's in a wide stance. But he does a little shift here. Now he creates that little bit of space. Okay? So that in itself, we'll work on that little step for hours just to create this space. So now we're into the manipulating defenders part of this. So he comes up the wall. We got Danny Sedin there. Danny's job is to not let that puck get back to the defenseman. So he's in a good spot. What I'd like to see Jonathan do is start taking ice back to the middle. Again, getting back to the dots but he forced himself straight to the wall. He's not pushing on his right foot. He's not cutting to the inside. He tries throwing it through the middle, and we turn it over. That's another negative possession. So we'll keep track of this. And again, I'll have the numbers. I know every time you, you know, these guys have negative possessions, positive possessions, and where they broke down, and that's what we'll work on. Um, this one here, again, one thing we work a lot with our players when you get pucks below the hash marks, or sorry, below the goal line, always attack the back of the net. Cut your defender off. And this is a skill that John is, is really good at. So right here, he knows Tanev is coming to force him. He's getting off the wall. He turns his butt. He gets to the back of the net. There's no way Tanev's getting that puck from him. He has his, <coughs> John has taken Chris's hands away. They're up on his back. Now he skates away from the pressure. He protects the puck here. He's in a good low stance. He's got a good knee, knee drive with his right foot there, and he's on the outside edge of his right foot. I think that's Hank coming down the wall. We've got all our defenders deep. Now he makes a good pass to the, <clears throat> the defenseman, and that defenseman has the puck with lots of time and space. So we want to, when we're passing pucks to the defense, we don't always want to give them the puck when they have a guy right on them. And we see that so often, and then the D-man, all, all they have is to put the puck down the wall. You want to enhance the chance. You want to enhance the play. And these, just these little puck protection, little pivots, little turns, that creates the time and space that we need to create offense from below the dots. Uh, this one, again, just another quick one. It's a loose puck battle. Right here, he steps. He's at the back of the net. Defender, you can see, can't get by there. He's got his knee out. <clears throat> He's got his knee out. So that defender, all he can do is get his stick on Jalen's knee, on his shin pad comes up the wall. He's in a wide stance. I think that's too wide. I think it's really hard for him to make a turn. See how he's created the space in the corner though? But I'd rather have, have a knee bend and he's about there. That way he can turn and use that space if he wants. But he makes a smart play, goes back, creates another chance. So this is another skill we work with a lot on our players. And again, it you know, I, I see coaches do edge work drills, and they go up and down the ice, up and down the ice, but then they don't put it in a specific, a specific way. They don't use it in a show a player, now this is where you can use it or how you can use it. And I think for, for players to really develop, they have to get the repetitions, but then they have to do it in the situation where they would use it within a game. So this is a simple, again, another drill you can set up, but a great example here of there's a loose puck, and, and puck retrievals are huge now. So what does Jonathan do? He doesn't first go for the puck. What's he going to do? He gets in Edler's lane. And you can see, he drives that right knee out. He's getting on the outside edge of his right foot. Cutting Eddie off. Now, Eddie sticks off the ice. He's got his butt turned to him. You can see right there, perfect 10 and 2. That's the skills we want to work on. Those are the specific skills that are going to help you create offense within your team's guidelines, within your identity. Um, so he brings, I think, believe it's Tanev. Now he manipulates the other defender who comes below the goal line. 
throws in front, great scoring chance. So again, and I think, I think Jamie alluded to this a little bit too, uh, and it's a, a skill we work on all the time with our players, it's turning toes. You know, how do we pick up pucks off the, off, the, off the walls here? And again, you can go out before practice and work on these things every day, every day, every day. It's got to become habit. It's all about your habits. So you'll watch. He sees Eddie's on the, the left side of him. He's going to turn his toes to the left. He lifts his foot. He plants that right foot on the outside edge. Quick power turn, couple strides, and he's eluded Eddie out of that corner. Those are high-end skills. Those are skills that you don't necessarily see in the highlight reels or on the fancy rushes. You know, and he always talks about he, he always talks about Kane. You know, Kane gets all the love because he's all the stick hand down the ice and everything, but, but those are what makes Jonathan's game, and I think Bo Horvat, is a, we, we work a lot on the same things with Bo. I've worked, tried to work a lot of things that we've started. I started with Jonathan years ago, and now we're getting Bo on that track, and these are things he focuses on before practice.